Hi guys, so today I'm bringing for you a very interesting uh, video uh, farming in Western Kenya. This is how farming is done in most part of Western Kenya using cattle. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Kill I hope you enjoy the video. Before we go on with this exciting video, please pause the video and give it a like. It really motivates me and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. Uh, using animal for farming is done all over the world and uh, oxen is uh, mostly used in, uh, in Africa and uh, parts of Asia. Uh, the main difference uh, uh, in what is done in Luo Nyanza particularly and uh, also with the Kalenjins is that they sing for the animals while farming. Uh, they sing for the oxen. Uh, so this singing and music uh, during farming with the oxen is just to make the oxen to be comfortable and uh, obedient and to motivate them to, to farm. Uh, so I'm going to document all this in this video and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, what you have just seen is the boy being uh, taught how to 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 play using the oxen. Uh, this technique is passed from generation to generation, and it's something uh, that uh, you have to practice. I hope the boy is going to practice and master the skill. Skill, 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 skill. Uh, in this technique of farming, uh, what is mainly used uh, is the plow. Uh, what the guy uh, with the orange uh, t-shirt is holding. He also has a, a panga, a machete, to remove uh, soil from the plow, and uh, the yoke, uh, what is uh, on the neck of the oxen, and the guy controlling the oxen has a whip. It is a soft whip that is not uh, harming the animals. Uh, also, it is worth noting that uh, with this technique of farming, you have to start very early in the morning. For instance, uh, 
on this day we started at 4 a.m. Uh, this is uh, mainly because of uh, heat. Uh, you have to do it when it is still cool in the morning. Uh, so it is 4 a.m. to around 10 a.m. in the morning. Then you are done. Uh, so on a day, on a morning, you can you can do around uh, five acres. Uh, most of these are uh, oxen used for plowing are castrated. Uh, they are castrated to make them uh, calmer and to be obedient to whoever is controlling them. In most parts of the world, uh, they use uh, two oxen for plowing. Uh, in Kenya, in most places in Kenya, they use uh, anything from two oxen to four oxen. Uh, but in Luo Nyanza, uh, we use uh, anything from four uh, to six oxen. Uh, just like in football, you must have substitute in the field. So anytime uh, you see them farming, they have extra oxen, not doing anything, but they are substitutes. So when any ox is uh, tired, uh, they get replaced. In low culture and uh, nylots in general, naming of cows is uh, taken as a very serious uh, business. All these oxen have names and the person commanding them is calling them by names. Also when uh, praising them is praising them by their names. Uh, this is a very serious business, naming of animals. Uh, please comment below and uh, tell us some of your the names of your cows at home. Also please tell us where you are watching from. My Ombewa, tomorrow no? Let's <laughs> Unfortunately, this technique of farming using oxen is dying in Sierra County and uh, Luo Nyanza in general. Uh, more farmers are uh, adopting new farming techniques using tractors, mainly from Rift Valley. Uh, they claim it saves time and money. Yeah, guys, so that's how farming is done, traditional way of farming in, uh, in most parts of uh, Western Kenya. A very traditional way of farming using uh, cattle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.